Hello there, I am Giant Coral with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we got here, we got um, through the Wayward Cave, all of it in one part, so that's pretty cool. And now we're going to continue on to Route 207, which, yeah, right here. Uh, we could, oh look, it's Dawn. We couldn't um, go up this route earlier when we first got to Wernberg for the first time because of that slope we needed for the bike. We need a bicycle to go up that slope. Anyway, here's Dawn. Hi, Steve, and how's your Pokedex coming along? Me, it's somewhat becoming fantastic and uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me. I'm get, I'm, I've got something nice for you. Steven, choose which hand you want. The right hand, because I'm right handed. I see you want the Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, Steven, you know what's important. Yeah, versus seeker means you can rematch um trainers within your screen. Uh if you when you use it. So yeah. Using the versus seeker you can find trainers who want a rematch with you. Oh Steven, do you have a Pokedex? Yep, yeah you do. You can have this too then. You deserve for all your hard work, Steven. Thanks. We got the dowsing machine. Yeah, it's installed on the Pokedex. Uh the dowsing machine app locates unseeable items. The dowsing machine is something you should touch often. If you will tell, it will tell you if there is an item on the ground that you can't see. It will be especially useful inside dark caves. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokedexes. Professor Rowan is counting on us. Yeah, so um, just to show off the dowsing machine, the bottom screen is now in the big box. So if I can find it, it's right, it should be right here. Yeah. So if you click on it, you can check to see if there's any like, if there's any items anywhere. So like, we'll, we might use this later on. Oh look, there's an item. It says there's an item right there. So it says like, so that, so it says it's like one, two, three, four, five steps to the right. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Ah oh, man, that was. I thought that's how I read it. Could be wrong. That double tick marks meant steps. Okay, down to one, two. Okay. So is it where I'm standing? Yeah, there it is. Oh, we got a revive. That's awesome. Yeah, that, I never picked up that hit on my item ever because I just didn't check when I first got the dowsing machine from Dawn. Wow, okay. We got a free revive. That's awesome. Also, um, there's no berries here apparently. I don't even think I don't even think I picked them, so like there's just no berries growing there. And down here is a slope again, and you can make your way back to Orenberg City. So yeah. So if you like um went to the underground and you want to revive your skull fossil or armor fossil, I believe that's what it's called for Shield On. Uh it's a skull fossil for Cranido. So you can do that here at the um Orenberg Mining Museum, Coal Mining and You. I think it's this building. It's one of these rooms or something. I think it's this guy right here at the desk. How 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 are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me right here now. It's if it's the fossil that you obtain, bring it here if you if you must. Yeah, so that guy will revive that fossil for you and either Craniodos or Shield On. If you're playing Pokemon Diamond, you'll get uh Craniodos the skull for or you'll get a skull fossil that varies in the Craniodos. And if you're playing Pearl, you get a uh, I think it's an armor fossil. That, that evolves in it, that uh, revives into a shield on. So in Platinum, I think you get both of them though. So yeah, and then we just use direct to go up the slope again. There's another honey tree, by the way. So yeah, just to show off the dowsing machine again, uh, I might show it off again in a second because I know there's a hidden item, but I want to just show it off how to use it again if you're not sure. So I'm gonna go back to my the regular pocket trap. There we go. As you can see, I have Inferno up front. We're gonna take on some of these battles. Let's ha let's have some fun. Let's take on this youngster, dude. I wear shorts and the whole year I've got energy to burn. Okay, I think there's a hidden item in here, a rock, never mind. Guess not. I was just checking the rocks, I guess. 
Let's, um, is Inferno still level 22? I know, level 21, okay, yeah. This is a battle girl, I think she has like a meta and a machop, if I were to guess. Okay, okay, let's, let's, uh, let, let's be quick about this. If I didn't already mention the um, battle when we had like, against the youngster dude, uh, Bronze uh, grew to level 19, I believe, and learned extra sensory. Like, I would have been prison because I don't think I would be using prison. I, in fact, I didn't because like I still haven't used Bronze or in battle. He's just been holding. Uh, it's been holding the experience here ever since we caught it, you know. But that's okay. I'm just trying to catch it up on levels, you know. And the experience here is a great way to use that and train him up, you know. Here's a hiker dude, I think he has an onyx. Wow, after Bing's good fortune. Okay, so I was pretty much wrong. That hiker ended up having three edgy dudes and a Zubat. Yeah, and Inferno took a lot of damage from that last battle. So I'm going to heal him up with a couple of potions. I have nine of them, so yeah. Might have to use three potions, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'll just use three potions. There we go. And uh, here, this corner right here, right here is Ever Candy, but I want to show off the dowsing machine again. So again, this t bottom screen is now in the top box. So if you go to the dowsing machine, if I, it says one, two. If you count from uh, the little tick marks, if you go one, two, three to the left, you should find an item. So one, two. Well, I guess this is what the item is, but I must have misjudged it. I don't, I don't know if you count the um, step you already on or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's it should be, it should tell you where the exact item is, depending on how close you are to it and stuff. So yeah, let me switch back to my party uh, app with my team and my party. So yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, here's a dire hit, okay. Raises critical hit, the chance of a critical hit, I think, so yeah. That's cool, I guess. Let's just, um, let's avoid this hiker dude for right now. Let's, what, this, what is this item right here? It's a super potion. Okay, cool. Okay, here's a double battle coming up. I know one of these picnickers or campers have a shink, has a shink, so make sure you don't have like a water flying type up front. But I'm, t I have, I know I have Karen up front as my second slot, but hopefully I can just faint it with the flame wheel using Inferno's flame wheel and stuff. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best too. Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard too. Okay, so that camper and that picnicker had very similar dialogue, and it was a Ponyta and a Patrusa. I don't know why I, th I thought it was a Shinx for some reason. Maybe that's a Platinum or something. So, yeah, I'm gonna put Rose up to the front. I'll put Karen in the third slot, I guess. Karen did take a bunch of damage, you know, from that spark that that Patrusa used on it. 
Here's a hiker, dude. Okay, what do you have to say? I just got through Mount Cornet, but we st we've still got fuel in the tank. If I didn't already mention, uh, in the last battle with this, the battle with these camper and picnicker, uh, bronze grew to level 20, and then, uh, inferno grew to level 22, which is really cool. Oh, sorry if I repeat myself there, but I want to make sure I said it, you know? So I'm going to go back and heal up, and then, uh, buy some more pills at the mart, so I'll be right back. Okay, right back here, um, I bought some more potions and repels, so that's cool. Um, let's see the sign, it's the Mount Cornet. Yeah, another entrance to Mount Cornet. So, um, we can't go over there, we can't surf on water yet, so let's just go down. Oh, wait, first of all, I put a pill on. Just so I don't need wild Pokemon battles, or I need wild Pokemon, you know? Because I don't want to deal with that right now, honestly. I think there's a hidden item in this- oh, wait, who are you? Oh, according to one theory, Mount Cornet is where Sino- is where the center region began. In a newly created world, a world where- only time flowed and space expanded. The air should be, they should have broke, been no strife. But who, but what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and an incomplete strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be dis deplorable. Interesting. You have like some weird spiky hair. Are you Sonic or something? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a hidden item in this. No, there's not. Okay, I was wrong. So you can go this way and smash all those rocks, but I'm just gonna go around, even though, even because I, you know, have a one. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. Yeah, because I would have been a lot of rocks to smash, you know. Here's Route 208. Here's yet another hiker dude. Let's take him on. I have, um, Rose up front, so let's do this. Gwaha! You're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? Oh, you'll be surprised what thing, what small things, what things come in a small package or something. I said that saying wrong. Dang it! Okay, that guy was fairly easy, he just had two Geodudes, so I'm going to switch over to Karen. And with the full face is Black Belt Dude, which I think has like a Machop or something. Meditite, I don't know, for sure. This Karate Man will pulverize you, we'll see about that. Okay, so that black belt dude only had one Machop, which wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, here's the next speed. And, oh, look at this rocky wall. A very, the wall is very rocky. Will the Pokemon move scale it? Yes, we need an HM for that, so we can't even access that. We can't even access, you know, rocky walls, you know? If I can go down, that'd be great, thank you. Oh my gosh, I, I want to go to the right, stop it. Jeez, okay. Um, let me put... Rose back to the front. Let's take on this uh, hiker dude. I think he only has an onyx though. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? Sure, why not? If you beat me. Okay, so that hiker only had an onyx. I always think that there's a hidden item here, but I don't think there is. Cause I don't even know I don't want to pull up my dowsing machine, but like I don't think there's a hidden item. I always think there is though, but I don't know, maybe I'll just skip it on if there is one. But we can you smash this rock here to get this item. Ball, I should say. Wait, I don't know what this item is, I can't remember. It's a Pokeball, cool. Wait, wait pick it up. Pokeball on the edge of a cliff. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. 
So I need this. I have iron here. I'm gonna put a pell on. Okay. Here's a honey. Nice. Another. And then there's another honey tree. Okay. Don't say a word. Just take it. We got the odd keystone, which will be, which can be used for something later. I won't show off what it does though. It's. I think it's to get spear tomb when you have to. Have, you have to like. I think on the Winnetta Wi-Fi connection, you have to like meet w with um, ten different people or ten different people, ten trainers at ten different times or something. But now that the Wi-Fi connection is not supported anymore, I think you have to. The only way you can do it is if you meet yourself or if you meet a local friend. You can't even do it off Wi-Fi. Make it even go faster. I think that's how it goes. And you have to put the odd kid stone in this one stone place, which I'll show where to put it later on. It's actually coming up. So yeah. Um. Let's take on this painter, dude. I think he has a smeargle. I don't even know if he has a smeargle. He either has a, I think he, um, it would make sense that he would have a smeargle. I think I do remember him having a smeargle. You and I, let's create a scene. A fantastic troop. Talabu. I think that's how it's used to say it. A battle of battle. Okay, Rose grew to level 23 at the end of the battle, or in the last battle, so, yeah, let's put it in front of the front, I guess. Everyone, everyone's either level 21, 22, or 23 now, that's pretty cool, excluding Becky. But you know, here's a Roma I think she has a combi, so it's really good for your Pokedex, to, if you battle her, because you get to see com combi and stuff. Oh, you want to have a battle? Yes, sure, why not? I was meaning to enter a contest, but Beating you won't take long. Okay, let's pick some berries now. raspberries. I forget I forgot to read the first name of the first berry I picked in this soil, but oh well. Here's blackberries. Oh, I think the previous berries were raspberries, two raspberries. And this is a pineapple berry. It's also another it's also another um puffin ingredient berry kind of thing. Yeah there we go. Uh, here's the berry master's house. Free berries available. So every day this the berry master who is this guy right here We'll give you a berry every day for free. Everyone seems to call me the berry master. I I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're de you're deserving of one. We got the SP berry, nice. Uh, are you the f forgetful type who forgets why berry why ber berries planted? Um, not really, cause I don't plant any berries really. Oh, is that so? But are you okay even I don't give you an, this nice thing? Oh. Oh, you're giving me the Poke app, the berry searcher. Okay. Yes, I thought so. And <laughs> I'm the same way. I feel sort of kinship with you. You can have this Poke app, which is the berry searcher, yeah. Okay. And um, would you like some mulch? I'm going mulch. Okay, this is mulch for your berries and stuff, but I'm gonna just skip it all on that. Wait, I want to read off the list though, at least. It's the least I can do. Okay, so we got growth mulch for 200 pokey, and all of these are 200 pokey. Not pokey, but poke dollars. I'm thinking about Mystery Dungeon right now. Okay, so they're all 200 poke dollars. So in real life, they would only cost like $2, you know? Be reasonable. Okay, so, if you know, every poke dollar is a penny in real money. <laughs> so we got growth mulch, damp mulch, stable mulch, green mulch, and that's it really. Oh, please come again, yeah. Okay, now to surf that app. 
um, the berry searcher. If I could. Again, the um, the bomb screen's now in the big box. Bigger box, I should say. Here's the berry searcher. The, the little blinking like square is where you're at currently. And then I'm guessing these little berry, this little berry um, thing that you see at the bottom of the screen will just pop up in different locations where berries are ready to be plucked. As, they, as the girl said, ripe. Ripe to berries, I guess. That are ripe, I should say. So let me go back to my cool app. There we go. Okay, so we read the sign. We're almost we're pretty much to the next city. Hard home city, here we come. You're just gonna just go in through this transition button without talking to anyone. Yep. We're in Hard Home City now, yeah. Okay. Oh what's up, Beniri? Nice. Oh, it's a trainer or person. Oh thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far my Beniri could have run. Baby Beniri, back in the Pokeball you go. And she goes back in the Pokeball. I'm Karina. Um, I'm the Pokemon, I'm a Pokemon contest judge. Please drop by the contest also so I can thank you properly. That's what we're gonna, that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next part. By the way, if you go south of Heart Home City, um, these interviewers will be in the way. The contestants are, the contests are interesting, but the ruins of Soycean Town are as well. And this camera guy, I'm a cameraman. It makes me happy to see all sorts of Pokemon involved in contests. So you can't, they're not going to move out of the way till like later on, so we can't even go south of Harlem City yet. So yeah, um, let's see, I want to check my levels real quick on my Pokemon. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So I'm going to cut the part right here. So this has been my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, not Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide Part. And the next part, we'll take on more of Heart Home City and explore the wonderful Heart Home City. So this is Majorico again. I rather them watching again. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.